Lila, the founder of Samasource, a really interesting company that supplies, uh, applies a crowdsourcing model to creative works, and I think you're far better to explain what you do, so nice to meet you and tell us what you do. Thanks, so we're actually a managed services uh, company incorporated as a nonprofit that connects technology companies, software companies, and increasingly uh, large Fortune 1000 companies with basic data services through what we call an impact sourcing model. Mm -hmm. So we break down big digital projects into small tasks or micro work, and we train low-income women and youth from developing countries to do that work. And we oversee the entire quality assurance process so we can be sure our customers are really happy with the results. And this was your idea? Yeah, I founded the company four years ago. Uh, we've doubled in sales this year. We've now uh, paid out and trained and created uh, 3,300 jobs uh, for workers in Kenya, India, Uganda, Pakistan, and most recently, Haiti. So this is a super exciting model. What, what I'm most curious about is the, the governance and the ability to project manage and things like that between the client and the, the provider. So tell me how you handle that. Sure. Well, it would be really hard to do without technology. We're based in the heart of San Francisco, and we hired a top-notch engineering team to build a proprietary platform called the Sama Hub that manages this entire workflow. So customers uh, hook us into their data via our API, and we pull data from their, from their websites or their systems, display it to the workers, get the workers' responses, and then QA the work in real time and send it back to the customer. So that means that we can deliver large projects with short turnaround times while directly overseeing the quality of the work from San Francisco, even though we're not co-located with all of our centers around the world. And we have a small office in Nairobi that has local project management and, uh, and training and some other, some other benefits there. So tell me about your experience in Haiti. Haiti's been challenging. So we started there, actually we were approached before the earthquake happened, and we signed our first partnership agreement with a local operator the day of the earthquake. And we thought, actually they had sent us an email the night before and then the earthquake happened, and we thought that for sure they would want to pair back. Instead, they were flooded with applicants for jobs who were fleeing Port-au-Prince. The center is in Mirabale, which is a rural community outside of the city. And, uh, and so we provided 50 jobs doing translation work for the State Department. We translated tech messages in real time that were coming out of the crisis from Creole into English so that emergency responders could show up and help people who were stuck under a bridge or who needed clean water. Uh, so it was a really amazing project with fast turnaround time and then we scaled to other types of projects and transitioned the management of the center. The, the hardest part for us in Haiti has been finding reliable mid-level management so we're now working uh, hopefully with the IDB, we're in conversations with the IDB and with Digicel uh, to see if we can use some of Digicel's trainees and their management to staff a new center that's happening or that's um, that's getting built in the northern part of the country in Cap Haitian. So it would appear to me there's no question there'd be a tremendous demand for your type of offering in Latin America in general. Do you, do you see opportunities here? Or, or how, see. How, do you, how do you get started? <laughs> I see endless opportunities and I have a personal connection to the region. I studied abroad in, in Brazil when I was in college and I have long wanted to go back there. Uh, we think Colombia and Haiti are two really realistic possibilities for Samasource in the near term. Uh, we hope that in the next year we can sign a partnership agreement with the IDB that would give us the funding and the business connections we need to scale in the region. Well, good luck. This is very exciting. Thank you. And we'll stay in touch with you. Thank you. We're on Twitter at Samasource and on Facebook at uh, Samasource as well. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot out that, me that message. Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs>